I'm not going to be before you long. I'm going to just play this clip of Senator Anita Turner checking this Democratic Congresswoman. But real quick, um, you ever notice like you're watching the news outlet or whatever and they're talking about something that ain't got shit to do with Trump and out of nowhere the candidate brings up Trump and like, what the hell are you talking about? This shit ain't got nothing to do with him. But I was listening to Mace Jackson. He was talking about that happened a lot in Chicago politics. Now, you know, Chicago, apart from the governor up until this past election, it was completely run by Democrats. The governor was Republican, but every other element, the mayors of the different cities and all of the, the congressmen and whatnot, all Democrat ran. And yet, these people run around blaming Trump for things that ain't got shit to do with Trump. And he said that the reason why they do that is because locally, although it's not uh, it's not going to help them defeat him in the White House, but like for their own personal little clout, little game, it boosts their little approval ratings and whatnot. So they do it on purpose. Because it helps them out, right? So it's like there's a reason why they do it because it does benefit them on a local level at least. It doesn't help. So they don't actually have to go out there and do things for their constituents that matter. They can just point the finger at the boogeyman and say it's his fault, even though they ain't got shit to do with him. In fact, it has everything to do with our all-Democrat leadership not giving the people what they need. But um, this tried to happen or this was about to happen in a segment and Senator Nina Turner, I know a lot of y'all like her. She's way too leftist for me. But she checked the Democratic Congresswoman or lawmaker for trying to pull that bull when dealing with what's going on in um, Virginia. And again, that whole situation is crazy. You got the first dude in charge is blackface. Second dude in charge is getting got a Me Too case. Now he on number two. And then the third is... Another dude who had said, oh, shit, damn, I did blackface too. And he came out and apologized probably get in front of it. Now, a lot of media outlets are trying to say that uh, the black folks are on some forgiveness, kumbaya, stupidness, and they want the governor to stay there. Now, I'm not saying that that don't exist, but I'm going to give my people a little bit more credit than that. They recognize that if all three of those men go, that a Republican will take over as governor. That's crazy, too, how... Um, that whole thing works, right? Like, with governors. Like, President, you watch the TV show, a Designated Survivor, when so many people gone, boom, like, five people away, Dr. Ben Carson can be president. Like, that's just crazy how that works. But in the governor's race, in Georgia in particular, the th after three people go, it, a, a possible a Republican can take over. That's crazy. And then he can run again and still get, you know, more terms. Like, he doesn't have any limits. But, but I'm saying... It might be some folks on there on some forgiving kumbaya bullshit, but I think that the voters are at least intelligent enough to say, well, we don't want a Republican, so we'd rather keep the dude who did blackface in there. And that's debatable in itself. That's, you know, that's questionable. But Nina Turner actually addresses the Democratic woman trying to pivot and blame Trump for what's going on in Virginia. As if Virginia doesn't have these type of issues. Uh, as again, you know that because of the labor unions, the governor would not put his second in command, his attorney general, or his, um, I forgot, his the second governor in charge, if he goes out, he wouldn't put him on his flyers and stuff when he was going uh, on the campaign trail because the labor unions didn't want him on there, right? It was a racial issue. So Virginia has their own beefs with race in the Democratic Party. For whatever reason, we don't pay attention to that. We don't call it out. And then you have a time, you have a time when it's getting exposed I mean, in reality, it's looking like the Democratic Party in Virginia put out the information or reignited the information about the brother in second place, uh, his sexual scandal passes, whatever, which was public information. It got pursued, but nothing happened, right? But they're believing, like, because the dude, again, he resigned. He's like, yo, I'm out. Cool. I'm done. But then he's like, nah, I'm not. The day, the same day that the other dude got his sexual Me Too scandal. So it's looking like the Democratic Party don't want black leadership in Virginia for whatever reason. And I'm sure it's political and they understand what's going on in the process, but that's what it's looking like. But anyways, this is getting some um, attention. I think it's split. Most, a lot of people did come out and say he got to go, he got to go. But then he's like, no, I'm staying. Then the second dude, he's like, yo, bring on the FBI. Do what you got to do. I'm not going anywhere. Whatever. Third dude. I mean, he already apologized in a minute, so he already know he can't be governor. But they're addressing this in this segment, and the lady tried to pivot and blame Trump, 
and Nina Turner wanted all the smoke. She wasn't having it. She's like, no, let's deal with this situation. The racist in America. It ain't got nothing to do with party. It's it's this country, period. And I give her props for that. Even though I don't follow her politics or subscribe to them, she, I can respect when people hold their own party accountable. Just wipe everything clean. Start all over so that we can and we can govern and but let Jay, can I, add, I just want to add to what the congresswoman is saying. This is not just about people of color. I want folks to understand this. This is anti-blackness. So let's make this clear. This is anti-blackness, blackface in the mid to late uh, 19th century, 1800s, was about mocking black people, our humanity, our beauty, our culture what we mean to this country. So this ain't a conversation about people of color. This is a conversation about anti-black racism, white supremacy in the United States of America. So Governor Ralph Northam uh, came out of hiding and uh, gave an interview to the Washington Post saying that he wants to focus on racial inequality during the rest of the time as governor. Here's what he said, quote, there are ongoing inequities to access to things like education, healthcare, mortgages, capital, entrepreneurship. I want to heal that pain, and I want to make sure that all Virginians have equal opportunity, and I think I'm the person that can do that for Virginia. Too little, too late. Uh, it, no credibility, and I actually, I'm offended by that. Too little, I'm offended. Too late. It's almost yeah. like, let me, let me fix what's going on here, so I, you know, let me go and focus on something yes. else so that people can stop focusing on the things that I did when I was 25. Well, and, and, and he wants to have his repentance as the governor of Virginia. Look, you resign yes. and you go get your own repentance and you let us continue on in Virginia with actual That's governance right. by people who legitimately ought to be in the office. Well, let me ask you a question, yes. Congresswoman, as, a, as the elected Democrat at the table. Uh, if all three of them resign, mm -hmm. uh, then I believe the Republican Speaker of the House of Delegates becomes governor. Uh, you don't want that. No, but we need to think about doing what's right and what's right for Virginians and what's right overall. I mean, look at the race issue in today's day and age with the president at the helm, who has been one of the most divisive presidents, and frankly, racist himself, is a conversation we do need to have. Um, but looking at just the line of order and saying, no, we're not going to do that because of the consequences, is not the right way to do this. And so for me, I, would, I do think we need to have this conversation, and we should continue to have this conversation. But it has to be front and center, and we can't forget about the person who is dividing us and who himself is injecting this into the country to live up again and, and coming out again. And we haven't seen it be this bad in recent time till the president has really made this um, a race issue, whether it's about um, African Americans. Certainly, he's doing it all over the board with immigrants, but hey, we need to have this conversation. I cannot. What? Well, I just can't. 1984, 1980, right. Gucci, just a few days ago. This is not about President Donald Trump. This is about racism in the United States of America. Congresswoman, I hear you, but on this, we're not blaming President Trump. I'm he saying he that he has, listen, he has divided no, this country. No, let me, let me just say this. He is using it's race easy. as I am issue. not going to let, continue to let politicians use this man as the excuse to deal with racism in this country. It's been going on for far too long in the United States of America. We need some real truth and re reconciliation. Yes, President Donald Trump is a racist. There is no doubt about it. But as we have seen, Democrats delve in racism as well. We got to stop making this about who's a Republican, who's a right. Democrat. I want to know who's a humanitarian. That's right. I want to know who's going to stand up for people's lives, starting with black lives, because when you take care of black lives, everybody's life is taken care of. Everyone's life is taken care of. So no more about this. These three men, it had nothing to do with President Trump. What Go Lieutenant Governor Fairfax is going through don't have nothing to do with President Trump. Northam wearing blackface don't have nothing to do with Donald Trump. Harrington wearing blackface has nothing to do with what Donald Trump. What, this is about racism in the DNA of this country, and I am over it. Exactly we are right. traumatized, Jake, and we are sick of it. You know, now, what, po what, politicians what is, need to stop being, playing what games. What is being said is exactly right. It's about personal responsibility for your own actions and the things that you've done. When he was 25 years old, uh, it wasn't he couldn't blame Donald Trump for his behavior right. at 25 years old. <laughs> I mean, you can't you and have in to take school, responsibility right. for the things that you do. And Martha, I think that Martha that's a problem with the Virginia right. governor. Is that and first he said, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that, uh, yeah, that was me. I'm sorry about the picture. Then it was like, well, I don't really remember. And his wife is keeping him from actually moonwalking. Moon I mean, this is a person that he does not know what, where the appropriate yeah. levels are. I mean, he cannot 
he can't govern. So it's absolutely time for him to go um, and, and wipe the slate clean. And I appreciate, by the way, um, the representative saying that this has nothing to do with what, you know, who's next in line and, and the risk of Republicans actually taking office. This has to do with right and wrong, and, this, and this, these are clearly well, wrong um, places for these I, I appreciate those comments as well, but, and I'm not speaking to you, but they're new on the Democrat side. Ralph Northam got universal calls for resignation. When this became the whole Democrat power structure, it got really quiet. Well, there haven't until, been as many calls for Herring to resign. Until right. the Dick second General. sexual assault allegation. Right. Then it broke it loose again. But if you look at that timeline, it got very quiet. And it was, we might be more accepting of racism or rape than we are of Republicans. It started to look like that They ain't telling the truth on that, Jake. I mean, I hate that, you know, mm. Fairfax has to go too. But when Northam was running in 2017, you recall, because of a labor union, he wouldn't put Fairfax's right. picture That's right. on his literature. Thanks.